I'm very happy to be talking to Diego Carneba. He is the Minister for the Presidency for Uruguay with a special interest in e-government and information society. Tell us about some of the initiatives that you're doing in Uruguay. We started with the process six years ago, and today we, we, this is the anniversary of that. We started a very huge, ambitious program that we call Seibal Plan. Seibal is our national flower, and we, we started a process to be the first country in the world that we give every child in every school in the country have a laptop for him, not only in the school. We give a laptop and we need the connectivity because it's not only to the, the laptop, the, the most important issue here is to create infrastructure to the people who have the free to work without good environmental to the future. So we work very hard and now we have 95% of every school of the country with connectivity to internet and we have a way that the goal of this process is we want that every child in the country, they have no more than 300 meters, the possibility to be connected free. Because they all, they all, every guy have this computer, have free connection to internet. That's do very you, important. So how have you done that? Do you have municipal Wi-Fi? How do you do it? Well, we put uh, in every school, in every place, a, a connection to internet. I'm not a technical guy, I'm only a politician. So you know, what's the problem? We know everything a little, but we don't know, we are not as Well, okay, but what, one thing you will know about is markets. And surely the telecom companies, are they happy with this? Because one of the ways they make lots of money is by charging us yeah, for Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's, that's true. But that's, that's uh, another difference. In my country, we, of course, we have different telecommunication companies, but the most important is a state-owned company. The state-owned company that we call Antel, so we are working very hard on this. They are not against that because it's computer for the child. Okay, and one thing that is bringing the government closer to people is your intervention to make the last mile work more effectively in terms of delivery of ICTs. And classically, it's the last mile that slows the delivery of information, knowledge, ICTs down. Tell us what you've done. Well, we decide, it's under discussion in Uruguay, because a lot of people think it's a lot of money that we put in that. But uh, two years ago, we decided to finish the discussion and say, okay, we must pay this check. We decided to pay this last mail, and we are working in a very huge program to every home in the country need to have the connection of the fire optics we put with our state-owned company. Okay, thank you very much. No, thank you, David, for the opportunity to talk with you. And really, I think that... Here, for us, it's very important to come in at this kind of summit to learn, to know, and to have this kind of change that is very important to learn for us. That was great. Well, it's been great having you here today. Thanks. Bye.